Welcome to our next Beta Group uh, film session. So today we are glad to present you Maxime Dupont, who's going to talk about growth hacking. But Maxime Dupont has a very interesting life. And actually, he, he used to be a professional football player, believe it or not, yes. And that guy turned as a geek. So this is somebody unique. And uh, that's why we wanted to invite him amongst us. And Maxime is going to speak about his life, but also about uh, growth hacking with uh, very concrete examples. Thank you, Maxime, for joining us. Uh, so you have a tremendous life. You have a lot of different lives, and you're not even 30 years old, right? Yes, yeah, true. And you have uh, companies now. Uh, you're doing international uh, growth and uh, a lot of uh, diversity in what you're doing. So, but how is it that a football player turned into a geek? Um, it's all about the good transition. Um, it's all about a mindset that finally uh, seems different between uh, different between uh, the context of the sports and the business and more especially about uh, about everything that is about geek okay it's, it seems different but finally um, about growth and especially growth hacking that's what we are going to talk to about uh, today it's finally quite the same it's about fighting uh, always fight to find new way of growth as it was the same about the sport it's about uh, be the best finding new way uh, to be the best so Right now, it's about to find better, better things uh, to make better growth. So finally, it's quite the same. I think that it can match. Yeah. So it's like uh, it's a mix of strategy. Uh, you used to to play like a middle, like you're distributing. Yes. 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 Anticipation. Um, find a good way to to um, to increase growth. Find a good way to to make the good things at the good moment in the match. So uh, it's quite the same, finally. Yeah, so you, you need to have a vision. You have to need to, to OK, uh, what player is who, where, and so uh, uh, OK, so to anticipate, uh, to do the strategy properly, and uh, to distribute, of course, and uh, to, to be right on, right on also with words, because we're attacking it, it's also uh, something to do with the right words at the right time. Yes. Uh, yeah. So yes, exactly. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that, uh, that now you, you're here. So tell us more about growth hacking, because we hear about growth hacking for a couple of years now. So what is it exactly? Yes, sure. Uh, finally, um, the first thing to say about growth hacking is a, it's about a mindset. The mindset, as I said, is about fighting for to make big growth, find new way, creative way to increase growth. Um, that's the definition that we can just check here. So growth hacking is about find, finding creative way to quickly increase growth at all stage of startups, but also SMEs or big companies. Finally, it's not about just startups. We will see it later. Um, where it comes from, it's from the startup's ecosystem. Uh, we've got a funny video right here. That's very uh, funny, yeah. When you are in a, in a startup, you, you have a lack of money, you have a lack of time. Um, growth hacking is about finding way without money, without a lot of time, to, to reach first users at the debut. Uh, startups don't have enough money to, to, to buy some heads on Facebook or Google, something like that. So it's about fi find new way, uh, creative way. It's about fight, it's about hustling, you know, find a good way to make the first growth. Um, that's where it comes from. Um, let's be more precise about that. Um, startups company is about growth. When the growth stops or it's too slow, it's really bad for a company. So finally, growth is everywhere. That's why growth hacking must be everywhere. And that's, we can adapt that to, to every kind of companies. 
Um, let's, um, let's be focused and let's be more precise to picture what is it exactly, how it works and where, it come, wh where, where we go with the growth hacking. Um, we've got a, a first period when you launch a new project, that's the traction stage. Uh, during this, 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 this moment, uh, you create an MVP. An MVP is a manu minimum valuable product. Um, it means that it's the, the materialization of your project. Uh, it, it can be just um, a landing page, something like that, mm -hmm. just where you just explain what it is. Uh, and you will match it with the market to know what's, what's the matter, finally. Is it good? Is it not good? Uh, do we need to make some, some change, something like that? Uh, we finally we test the, the value proposition of your project and we see if the markets agree with it or not. Uh, we do that till the PMF uh, is the project market fit. So project market fit is the moment when your, your, your products match with the market. You see, um, you see people share it you see people uh, buy it, you, 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 people are really excited about your, your products. So it's like you have a feedback through Twitter and, and these kind yes. of platforms yes. like to, to feel if there is a need for, for your product? Of course, that's exact, exactly that. Uh, till, till, with this, till with this stage, you, you can go uh, further. You need to stay focused on traction, you need to match your product with the market. Finally, an ID is just one person, and the rest is all about execution. That's, that's, that starts till the, till the debut with the traction period. When you've got and when you reach the PMF, you can go to big growth. Okay, so 99% for you, it's, it's marketing, it's being there, it's uh, uh, being visible by yes, the public. Yes, it's about execute the product, changement, um, to find the perfect product. It's always the same loop, yeah. always the same. And, and because a startup, as you say, doesn't have time, so it needs to be right on. Yes, sure, um, yeah. sure. Uh, a startup is, uh, by definition, um, destructor of the market. You need to go straight up. You need to be, to be better than your competitor. It's like a fight. That's what I say that, to be back to the context of the sports, it's quite the same. Mm. You need to go straight up and re re be really, really fast. Mm. Yeah, so on one hand, uh, you might have competitors, and uh, okay, good for you, but on the other hand, if you have like a disruptive uh, product and something yes. brand new on the market, then it's, it's it's really tricky to, to be sure to, to target you know, proper needs. So how would you do that? Um, it's about to find the good niche. That's what I call a niche. Um, it's find something missing uh, somewhere in the market that you target. Um, be focused on it. Find the people who um, see and want and, and interpret your, your pro project as the must have. You need to find that customer segment yeah. who see your product as a must-have. Mm -hmm. That's the main things. Mm -hmm. And when you reach it, when you, when you discover them, you are in the product market fit okay. and you feel it. So is it something more B2C or B2B as well? So how would you... It's, it's B2C or B2B, it's about, it's about the same. We need to find that niche uh, okay. in the first time, find the good, the, the customer will see your product as a must have, and after that, maybe recover all the sector uh, and, you know. Yeah. But for the growth hacking, is uh, B2B is, is working as well? Yes, of course, we can adapt it to, to, to everything. As I say, it's not easy to, to, to understand it. Um, there is nothing special about finally growth hacking. It's more as a mindset. It's, it's like fighting. It's like finding creative way, as I say, uh, to, 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 to beat your competitor and mm -hmm. find special way to do it. So uh, we can do B2B, B2C, uh, but really, I mean, big companies, do they need growth hacking? Can they play with growth hacking? Sure, it's, it's a really good question. Um, uh, I've got a lot of contacts with big companies. Um, they are really interested in about uh, introduce 
the the way of of the, the startups how they move so fast into their big companies yeah, it's and time. it's um, it's really new so we don't really know if it really works or not but there is a real interest about it and what could be great uh, to know if to see if it's know if it's it's okay or not about that. But it's really, really interesting because growth hacking is about to do big things, big growth without budget. Anyway, maybe it's going to be bigger if we may, if we, if we had to that uh, some uh, some other uh, budget. So maybe yeah, we can see. Yeah, you, you see all these uh, huge companies with uh, the, the millions behind them and uh, billions. And so, so they will use growth hacking, you know, to, to hack uh, databases. So we, it's going to be a nightmare for us customers, you know, to have to, all these uh, emails, okay. tweets and, and um, targeting us. I yeah. see. Anyway, uh, when, when you've got some competitors, it's all about a fight. I know that's about really <laughs> radical yeah. about uh, that, that kind of view. But um, there is two ways uh, to, to grow. You can, you can grow on your user basis and you can grow on the back of your competitor. And according to me, growing on the back of your competitors is for all kinds of companies. So it can be really interesting to test that. That's why I'm focused on for now with some companies. Uh, so yes, maybe it's going to be, can be, can be great about that. Can be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you target properly. So yeah, we, we, uh, it's about all stages. So as we say, it's also for big companies. Um, we can also um, maybe give some example uh, about yeah what's for yeah what's for finally yeah. because we talk about the mindsets but concretely, concretely uh, what we can do with the growth hacking um, the first and the simple things is about build a community uh, we will see it just uh, after with the laugh live hack. Um, yes, we can build community really fast with the growth hacking. Um, that's the main way to reach the first user uh, through uh, social media, uh, conventional mm -hmm. media like uh, uh, social media like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, things like that. As I say, reach first user, find new leads. Um, we'll see that we can be really, really precise on the targets and really precise on where and with, on who we are focused on. Uh, test the value proposition. As I say, when you drive the first uh, users, you can test your, your value proposition. In increase conversion. Uh, it's a little bit more, com more complicated. It's about A-B testing, things like that. Maybe we will talk about it later. Mm. Um, dec decreased churn, of course, uh, when, when you, you, you are focused and where you know what is your customers with all the analytics, we'll see just after, uh, you can um, understand your customer and it decreased churn. Because you, you add a value to, to what you're looking for. Yes, and you really know them. And the transition is perfect uh, cause, uh, because uh, it's all about the analytics. You can make in place different act, different growth act, but you need to understand what's the matter behind okay. that. If you don't understand, you don't hack, of course, basically. Of course, it's not, it's not just like magic and yeah. it's not like that. You need to understand what's the matter. If you need to understand each step on, on the funnel. You need to understand what's the matter. Okay, so if you cannot analyze properly, yes. there is no way to begin hacking. Yes, of course, absolutely okay. not. Yes. Uh, some, some example, you can use Google Analytics uh, mix panel. Uh, is really interested to, to test and to, to follow different cohorts. Uh, yes, analytics is about uh, it's about to know what's the matter finally behind the growth hacking. Okay, and to respond to uh, yes. what's happening. Yes, yes. Uh, as I say, uh, growth hacking is not magic. You need to test a lot of hacks. Um, there is sometimes a frustration. Uh, everybody thinks that when they're going to try the first hack, it's going to be billions uh, behind that, but it's absolutely not the case. Uh, you need to try uh, all, all, all the way, all the, all the things you, you can, and finally to, 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 to know 
where to find and how to find your, your customers. Yeah. When you say different hacks, do you mean different platforms? Do you mean different messages? Um, there is mean? different, what we call different growth channel, different traction channel. For example, a growth uh, channel or traction channel, it depends when we are in the different stage what we are talking about, um, you need to know uh, where they are. Sometimes for certain, a product A or a product B, it's going to be different. You maybe find them on Facebook, you need maybe find them on Twitter, some others on LinkedIn, uh, some other uh, through SEO, it, it depends. It really, there is different channel that you need to activate, test with analytics, and finally understand what you need to do. Okay. And finally, um, is the most important things. Um, growth hacking doesn't work if your product is shitty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sure. But at least you know it. I mean, yes. if you don't yes. have any traction, uh, you yes. know that your product, yes. Uh, yes. Yes. you have to, to, to pivot yeah, yes. at some point. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Good. Okay. So sh should we hack now? Let's go for it. Um, Fantastic. Yes, let's make... Uh, I know that website. Of course. <laughs> don't worry, we don't hack your website. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, so the first things to do and to know when you start growth hacking, it's about to find what's your, your goal, your final goal. What's going to be the last conversion? Uh, right here, what we want to do is to find new participants mm -hmm. for the next beta group events. Uh, so this page will be the, conver the final conversion, the end of the funnel. Okay. Um, so we'll see different so, acts. We yes. already have a lot. <laughs> so yes. Let's not <laughs> boost it because we, we, we don't have uh, like uh, unlimited sure. capacity. Yeah. But yeah, sure. let's hack. Let's hack. Um, so the first uh, platform, uh, we will start on Facebook. It, it's called the Facebook Graph. So we will use it to find different segmentation that we will drive uh, through uh, th this event. Um, so the first things to do is to change the language. You need to be on, uh, on the language US. Okay. Okay, that's the first step. Uh, I'm going to do it slowly. Um, so you just find the language. You just see we are in English US. Okay. Against this is US, US. Not, the, not the UK. Okay. So that's the first things. Mm -hmm. uh, the second things to do is um, about to find in Google, you just type the giant list of Facebook graph search queries. And that's some queries that we will put in the search engine. And that gives us the possibility to find new leads. We will find who is behind some fan page. So for example, we need to target a tech audience. So I'm gonna take this example. We will uh, see where is behind the, 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 the people who like the startup weekends. You know, that's okay, famous nice. event. Yeah. So we will just Scribe right here, people who like, that's the queries, okay. and you just had the name of the fan page. Okay. You just put enter right here, and you've got all the segmentation. You've got all the person who like Startups Weekend. Okay. So you, we know that that kind of person yeah. can, might be uh, interested. Uh, yes, might be interest, interested, okay. effectively. So from there, you can just head as, the, as a friends, or you just can send them a, a cold message. Okay. There is not a lot of big conversion, but there is conversion at all. Okay, nice. Okay, so that's the first thing. And is th they know about the event. Can we invite them directly at the event? Or? Uh, you need to have them as friends. Yeah, and then so the, the best things to do um, for that is to create a professional, uh, you know, a professional profile. It's going to be easier for them to accept you if okay. they see it, if there is something professional behind the, okay. the profile, yes. Really? Whether than uh, a person? Yes, That's yes, especially when it's a girl, and, and, and it's <laughs> even better when it's the girl behind the, the yes, it's, it's like this, about the conversion, that that's works like <laughs> that. Um, so that's the first things. Uh, what I can add to that is that we can be 
really, really more precise. On that example, I just had and live in Brussels. Okay. So you, you can be really, really precise. Mm -hmm. You can find all of these queries in that list. I'm going to open it so you can see it. There is a lot. There is a lot of queries that you can see and find and use in that way. Okay. Awesome, so yeah. that's the first things. We've I got um, we've got a, a great a great a great example right here. After that, you need to act, and I'm go I'm back to the mindset. Had them as friends, uh, talk with them, good introduction, be intelligent, be strategic, mm -hmm. and. And so we, you please. really need somebody dedicated to that. I mean, uh, how, how long would that take? Uh, would, yeah, um, would uh, that be? Uh, you need to. to um, you need first things to do is a, is a good question. First things to do is uh, do things that don't scale. So the first step is about just try to talk with. 10 or 20 person and see if there is something happen, if there is some answer, if there is some acceptation, if you had them as a friend. And after that, you can automate the okay. process with uh, some program like iMacro or things like that. But in the first time, you need to do things that don't scale. And scales. what would be the, the conversion where you say, okay, it's a good it's a good way to approach people. Um, Let's do it uh, yes. in another scale. Yes. The, the, another scale. The, when the conversion is about when it's about one or three person, it's quite okay. Really? Yes. 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 So it, three it's people out of hundred? Yes. It's it's um, it depends. It really depends. It really depends. Okay. Anyway, it's 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 always in the process. You need to try to try to try. Okay. Maybe it's the wrong way to talk with them. You need to try different things. Yes, you Three need to, to five person, it's not a lot. So uh, it's not a lot, but when you when you will automate everything yeah. on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, that's where you you will find the good leads. Because maybe it's just five person, but this five person are exactly what we want. Okay. And this five person may certainly know other person like Absolutely. them. Absolutely. You know, and we we are in another way at that time. We are in the referral. Okay. It's another channel of growth. Okay, so if it's just 1%, then we should find other groups or other names, yes. Uh, yes. other it's, targets. It's, as I say, it's not, a form of, it's not magic. You need to hustle, 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 and you will find a way where to go, Okay. step by step. Yes. Good. And, and uh, for how long would you uh, wait for the feedback? Should it be like one day, two days, or one week? It depends. It depends of the hack. For example, when you are on Facebook, when you send a message, if you don't have a, an answer in one or two days, forget about yes, it. Yes, yes, forget about it. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, so then, if it's not working on Facebook, we can switch to Twitter. Maybe. Yes, of course. Another example. Uh, so what we're going to do now is a f is find um, a profile with the good segmentation again. Uh, so we will find. B tech, you see it that there is a lot of person to reach. Mm -hmm. So you just click right here on Twitter. Yes. So again, there is a lot of person that we are interested in, and what we're going to do is just simply download a plugin that is uh, available on the on Chrome. Okay. So it's called Twitter followers. So you just go on Chrome, just okay. request so Twitter followers. So should we follower. pay for that? Yes. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's totally free. Everything of that is totally free. Awesome. You just had it. You just see here, right here, with the logo. So we are back on Twitter. And you just can see just right here, follow them all, unfollow them all. So okay. what we're going to do is follow them all. You see that it's an automation. Okay, so from there, what's going? What's the matter? Every every profile will receive a notification, and they will see that there is a, a synergy between them and your profile. Some some of them will follow you back. When they follow you back, what we're going to do is to send a private message. To automate it, we're going to use another tool. It's called Crowdfire app. So you just check it on uh, Google. You just create an account. It's super easy. Uh, after that, you just go right here in Automate. 
And what we will do is to record uh, a specific message that everybody who will follow you back will receive. Mm -hmm. And in this message, of course, we will integrate or event right here. Yeah, how to subscribe, so... Hope to find you at is right here. You just had it and it's okay. So from now, everybody will follow you back will receive automatically a private message. Okay. And again, we will, we, will, we will see a conversion through the, the web page. And again, that's what, I, well, that's what we say about analytics. You need to know and integrate, for example, Google Analytics to know where the participant come from. If they come from Facebook, is they come from uh, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. So it really depends. So that's for Twitter. So maybe I'm going to show you another. So for, for the one who are not following you back, then you, you just uh, you can unfollow them. them. Uh, Crowdfire uh, give you the opportunity to know uh, who don't follow you. Okay. Okay. And then you, you, you unfollow. Yes, you okay. just unfollow yeah. them. Yes. Okay. Uh, another tool that is really cool on Twitter and super easy is uh, EFTTT.com. So you just go on the website, just right here, you've got the URL right here. Mm. Um, what we're going to do uh, is to cr is create a list. List um, is about um, separate different kind of person that you follow on Twitter. Um, right here what we're going to do and we will use it to uh, drive and to catch some person who can be participant in uh, our uh, event. So what we're going to do is create the first recipe that we're going to create is a BTEC. So as you see, I'm going to show you that. Yeah, it's a very popular one, BTEC. Yes, of course. It's such a nice name, so Belgian tech, but also BTEC. <laughs> it's so cool. the most famous hashtag, of course. Um, so now we're going to try another tool, it's called EFTTT.com. Um, you've got a lot of recipe. What we're going we're gonna to be focused on is build a Twitter list from a specific hashtag. So what we're going to do is just click right here. Okay, so we can see that we can use Instagram. Yes, if there is course. a picture of that on Instagram, yes. then do that and, and yes. things like that. Wow. Yes, yes, you can do a lot of things, a lot tool. of automation. It can be easier, make easier, make your life easier. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're going to drive here is all the person who hashtag BTEC. So we just choose BTEC hashtag. We just call the list. We had it, and what we will see when we are back to your profile is just that you will find it just right here. The BTEC list was created, and all the person who hashtag uh, BTEC mm -hmm. will be um, put in this list. You've got on Twitter. On Twitter, on your list of your profile. So you've got all, 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 all of this person who are now present in your list. So and again... People that have tagged just one time yes, just, in their just life, BTEC. Yes, okay. yes. So you, you just can again follow all, all of them. Again, they will receive a notification. Some of them will follow you back and they will receive that private message okay. and be drive to uh, the event. Nice. So here it is for Twitter. Uh, now, maybe what you can do is on LinkedIn, a more corporate social media can mm -hmm. be interesting too. Uh, the strategy is quite different. Uh, it, it's really not easy to, to find leads on, on LinkedIn. Anyway, there is a lot of things to do. So as you see, I just create a visual. In that visual, I can, I ex you can see that I explained what I'm going to do recently. And after that, you can see where I've built it. It's on canva.com. It's really, really simple to create some visual. So there is no coding uh, skills. 
uh, for to do that. Okay, so we, we just want to create a visual now. Yes. Okay, that's what we'll put on LinkedIn. Yes, and we okay. will put on LinkedIn and you understand why. So um, the, t the best tool uh, to use on LinkedIn is a profile hooper. So you can easy find it on internet. It's profilehooper.com. Here is the URL. So you just download it. Again, it's just a Chrome extension, so it's free. Um, you just find here, you click on it. It's automatically open your LinkedIn profile. And from here, we will find segments. So we're looking for startups or, uh, or tech, entrepreneur, tech yes. entrepreneur. Uh, so we just check it. Um, also angels. Yes, we're going to start with some entrepreneurs. We're going to choose in Belgium, of course. Yeah, it's really good because you can. Uh, yes. You can have a very fine definition. You just looking for it, and you've got some different segmentation that that can be a good target for your event. So what we're going to do now is to activate it. I won't do it because I don't want to do it now. Anyway, when you activate it, what's going to, what's going to happen? The, the program, Profile Hooper, will drive your profile to all of this uh, okay. profile. Okay? So they will see that you yes. have yes, exactly. looked at them. Yeah. The, again, they will receive a notification. Uh -huh. Some of them will going back to your profile and as we say, uh, they will see the visual and maybe they will, they will be interested into that. You can put your product in that visual, you can do different things. Uh, as you can see, I've just read uh, an article on the event, so it's complementary to So that. it's like the, the event is looking at them? Is that how it works or it's like your, your profile as a person? looking at them uh, you need, as a person? Y yes, uh, it's a good question. Y your profile must be very well detailed. They w they, it's a necessity that they understand really fast that you are in the same sector than, than them. So in your profile, effectively, you need to be really, really precise on what you do. It's going to be the first, uh, the first things that they're yeah. going to take them back to your profile. And after that, they will see effectively that there is something. Is there happened. a match or not? And yes, then, uh, yes, okay, yes, yes. I wanna, okay, and so the visual is just to illustrate. Yes, um, it's to illustrate is the, is at the first look, oh, maybe it's an entrepreneur, uh, new way to grow, oh, there is something interesting for him. What, what's the matter? You're gonna add you and maybe let's, okay. let's check. But the visual again is on your own post, is not on, uh, on anything they will see directly on your profile. Uh, it's, an, it's the cover photo, so it's, it's just, the cover photo yeah, behind. Cover, yes, behind. Okay, yes, got you. Yes, okay, yes. awesome. I bet you have to wait a little longer on LinkedIn to yes, have the feedback. Yes, it's longer. Yes, effectively, it's longer. Yes, it's longer on, on LinkedIn. And again, you need to try to, to see what's matter. Yeah. Yes, Do yes. you know the conversion on LinkedIn? So from people. It depends on the profile. sectors. It's it depends. Some some sec some some sectors are really fast because they're that kind of, of, of person are often on LinkedIn. Yeah. Some others not. So again, yeah. it's you need to try to understand what's the matter. It's yeah. case by case. Thank you so much, Maxime. Maxime Dupont for being here. So you will have a lot of followers now. <laughs> and uh, also so. for... Uh, yeah. Another hack. <laughs> yeah, another hack, yeah. <laughs> hack back. <laughs> and uh, for, yeah, for sharing all your secret recipes. Really, we appreciate it uh, at the Beta Group. So thank you guys for sharing the Beta Group, for uh, being present and communicate with us on your needs and what you, you would like to have right here and also at our events every month in Brussels. So yeah, see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.